What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, y'all see that? Mm. For those of y'all that don't know, my brother is deer meat for dinner, and we were all supposed to be in the Keys right now. Do you see that red line? That just went straight across where Robert and a whole bunch of our friends are at vacationing. We're here at the Blue Dot, and the storm is headed straight toward South Georgia. It's probably gonna come in North Florida, cut across South Georgia, and I feel really bad for North Florida because they've been getting rain like crazy forever. So this is how to cook a grouper head and a grouper body. Now, we speared the grouper two days ago while making a lionfish video, and there's absolutely no way possible I could play the footage and you know what went down because it was just such a clustered mess. So we're off of Stewart using our Seymour maps. We found an awesome ledge. Kelly and I jumped in, went down. We're swimming down the ledge and I was doing something with my bag. I think I was getting a lionfish out of it and Kelly started pointing, which got me to look in that direction and all of a sudden I saw a big gag grouper. The easiest shot in the world. It's laying five foot away, broadside, and I shoot and miss. So I quick reloaded, found it in the ledge, shot it again. ripped off. Well, fortunately for me, Aubrey and his oldest daughter, Lauren, were in the boat. They went back down. It's all Goodness. You thought you were gonna get away, but you didn't know Brito's Moss Grande was in the boat. Nice. What a teamwork pick hey. right there. Woo! So once Aubrey and them hit the bottom, they found the grouper because I left Kelly's spear gun on the bottom pointing straight at the fish. So it was easy for them to find it. They shot it, hooked it back up, sent it to us, and we picked it up with the boat and we came straight back in. So the rest of the video I already have filmed. Let's go watch that. And then we will cook these awesome fish head tacos. All right, so here's the grouper. It was a 31 inch gag, 100% teamwork. Now, very seldom will you ever see me wear gloves. I mean, in my noodling videos, the last noodling video I've done, I don't ever wear them, but watch this. Their gills are so bad. And when you watch me drag them out of the hole, one of the reasons I let him get away was that I had a GoPro, but the other one was I didn't necessarily want to run my fingers in there without gloves on because they, they would have came out hamburger meat. So let me show you how to clean a grouper head. Take your knife 
Now you will wear a knife out doing this. I just cut that loose. Spin it around and I'm gonna come right through here and I wanna cut it on this side. Just like so. And I'm gonna do the same cut on his other side. Right through here. Because this part of the gill doesn't have any meat on it. Once I get it cut loose, I then come right here. It's a lot of feeling too. And I cut it loose right there. Come back behind his gills and make a cut on both sides. All right, so now I have the gills and the inside all cut loose. Elbow grease here. Yeah, and you just twist it and it'll all come out. But I'm going to show you something inside of his mouth that's insane. So now you're looking at the inside of his mouth. See those right there? That's what keeps whatever he gets a hold of in his mouth in his mouth. Once he swallows it or gets it started to swallow, it can't come out. That's what he crushes it with and that's what he holds it with. So there's his gills. All that's out. Now that that's removed, everything you see here is edible besides the bone and the cartilage. So I'm going to take this and separate it from its backbone because this is going to cook a lot faster than his head, his cheek, and his throats. And I'm going to put them on my smoker for about two hours at low heat. A lot of people would do this to make soups, but to be honest with you, I'm not big in the soups, but if you boiled that down and made a broth out of it and took the meat, you could make a heck of a grouper head chowder. All of this is meat, every bit of it. So I'm gonna season it up and throw it on the grill. All right, you guys, I'm gonna tell you what type of girlfriend I have. Earlier I walked in and this is how the grouper was sitting here and Kelly's over here. I saw you go into the hole yesterday. I saw you. So garlic salt and regular salt. Salty salt. Let's go put it on the grill. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! That was a good try. That handle's a little sticky. Alright, I'm gonna put it meat down. Just like it was staring at Kelly. I'm gonna check the backbone before the head because the backbone will cook way faster. All right, so it's been about an hour. The head isn't finished yet, but this body is. And if you were having like fish tacos, oh, you gotta start doing that right when I pull this off, don't you? If you were gonna make fish tacos, that meat right there would be insanely good. Come in here and let's just see how much there is. Now, a lot of people get intimidated by cooking like this because they think there's bones but on big fish there are bones but look you just pick the meat out it's super easy and this is really really good meat so I'm gonna sit here and pick all this off the bones while the head continues to cook come here and look what I got on the grill Luke. <laughs> promise me you won't get scared Tell, her, tell all your fans what you learned today about lizards. Uh, they come from dinosaurs. Yep. Look at that. Ah. That is, what is that? That's dinner. That's dinner. Look at those teeth, though. Let's get inside where we can show them what them teeth look like. Is that a monster dinosaur? Look at those teeth. Ah. Major dinosaurs. Look at those gnarly teeth. So this is one of my favorite things to do ever. Dad? Yes, Luke? Make sure, please. Dad, this is a dinosaur. That's a dinosaur. Oh, yeah? Wait, read the back. 
Uh, let's see. The Dime Ictes. Dime Terrible Fish. Have you ever seen one of those? It's the same fish as that. Oh. <laughs> All right, Luke, come here. Let me learn you something. We're going to take this knife right here and slide it just inside the skin to get the best piece of this fish. Looks like a big fat dinosaur. That's the biggest dinosaur. Look at that, Luke. Oh, that's a big old cheek right there. Ooh, man, that's going to be good. Man. All right, go play. Dad, I know you're excited to get up. Can you give me there. a tooth for yeah, that? Yeah, I'll pull you a tooth. All right, go run and play. <laughs> so today is actually July 4th, and I think Kelly Young and I are the only people who haven't went outside. We have legit worked all day, nonstop, on videos, trying to get caught up because we're getting ready to go to the Keys, and then when we get home from the Keys, we're going somewhere that's a surprise to all of y'all, and we're not saying anything about it until we get there. Just know our schedule is completely full. Up here in its head, Yeah. I need to make one more cut. When you cook them like this, their skin, their hide, leather. yeah, it turns into leather. Look at that. Good meat right there. Yeah. Nice and fatty. This is actually, to me, the best piece of meat on the grouper. Oh, look at that, though. His eyeball. Luke, come here. I got one more thing for you to do. It's called candy. Come here. I need you to do me a big favor. <laughs> I need you to eat this. Look at that. Here is his eyeball. Part of becoming a man is you have to eat a grouper's <laughs> eyeball. <laughs> yeah. You just have to lick it. All over the world, young kids have to do things to become men. You have to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, though, Luke. Look at this right here. Quick. Come here. Show them, Kel. Look up close. You have to take this and get a big bite of that jello. Here, open up. <laughs> Didn't think so. I'm actually so excited to eat this. Grouper heads are so good so right here is a easily a meal for three especially if you're making like tacos and stuff add this little bit of head meat try to take off a little bit of that black stuff the cheeks you have like a full-fledged meal for four or five and it's all meat that a lot of people not everybody a lot of people completely waste up here in the jaws like up behind the cheek is a big chunk of meat. Are your hands burning right now? Yeah, my hands are super <laughs> hot. So then you take this, which we call the collar. Look at that, I mean. Looks like a chicken wing. Yeah, it, really what it favors the most is a chicken thigh. There's no bones in that. That's all 100% edible. Now when you get back here on this section of the fish, you gotta be careful for bones. You don't wanna get a little sharp bone in there and somebody get it in their mouth and choke on it. Look at that though, just globs of meat. Still got more on the collar. I've always told everybody that the collar like this or the throat is how I compare white meat to chicken being the, the breast and the dark meat being the thigh. Now you can do whatever you want with this. You can make a soup, you can make tacos. That's probably, tacos would probably be the best thing to make. But you can make anything you want with it. I'm about to make a taco. I bought corn tortillas yesterday. I think the meat tastes better when you like almost have to like work for it and pick through it and you know you're using the whole fish that you've hunted. Even when it's hot like this? Yeah. It's just like, I don't know, I think it's just satisfaction knowing you really tried and you used the whole animal. Look at that though. Golly. That's about a half a pound of meat. Yeah. Okay. God, man. I can Ooh. see the steam. You got a big like chunk that. in there hiding. I know, you always get like mysterious chunks that fall out and like, oh, it's a good piece. Look at that. That's inside of its head that I couldn't even see. Big, huge chunk. Some dark meat right there. Back here is a big chunk. 
But would you eat it, babe? Oh, for a thousand bucks. Look at that. I got a thousand bucks. But you gotta take all that in one bite and swallow I it. I can't swallow the hard part. Though, yes, you can. I... All of it. A thousand bucks? You know how long I work for a thousand bucks? Yes, I do. <laughs> all right, so that's it. That's all the fish, except for about two cups that my brother Aubrey stole yesterday while we were diving. We actually went and filmed a cool video on Kelly Young's channel again, diving, doing the same sort of stuff, just shooting different fish. Y'all check that out. What y'all know about a glass top stove when you can flip some tortillas like that? Pretty clever. So, my onions are done. You better check your tortillas though because they will get done quick like. Turn the heat off. You only need them on there for a second. I guarantee you with just that one head I can feed, I don't know, five or six people. You can do the same dish with a big mutton snapper, a Cabrera snapper, red snapper, cobia, amberjack, pretty much anything. That smoky aroma is coming out from cooking it for so long on the grill. That's a big old piece of cheek. Kelly's hoping I'd put that on her taco. <laughs> Surprise Aubrey didn't see that. Yeah, no kidding. So I took the fish like this to his house. I'm like, can you put that on the refrigerator? And it was full to the brim. Well, when we left and we didn't use it, I'm like, can I have my fish back? And he brings it out and it's like up to here. <laughs> but in all honesty, he did save the day. He was able to go back down and get the fish for me, which I was very grateful. All right, so we got this plain flour tortillas. I've got some really ripe mango. I've got one avocado. Just gonna cut a couple slivers. I really wish, out of all the videos I've ever said, but can y'all smell it? I wish you could smell this, because it smells literally amazing. I was just gonna say, it smells so good. Golly, that smells good. And to be quite honest with you, this meat, in my opinion, will taste better than the meat off the body of the fish. It's just got more flavor. I would compare it just as eating chicken. The breast meat's just really bland, really plain. The dark meat's where all the flavor's at. And that's the same with this. So earlier today, I got bored. I was thinking about this sauce last night when I was sleeping. Mango nectar, olive oil, jalapenos, lime juice, and a little bit of garlic. Top it with just a little bit of fresh mango. And then, because I haven't added salt in a while, I just wanna add a little dab. Mm, man. Look at that. I just got it all on my nose, but boy does it smell good. <laughs> This is when you need one of them mics to like mukbang videos and you can like hear the juices. <laughs> when you, you weren't in here that. when I was editing. Y'all leave a comment below and tell her about the noises that were picked up when I was ripping the gills out of that group of head. It just sounds Oh really? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Let me see this right here. Mm. Give it your best go. Alright. It's not hot actually. My mouth ain't as big. So many different flavors. It's so good. Wait till that spice hits you though. The sweetness, the salty, and the spicy. So good. Kind of reminds me of kimchi sauce. Kimchi but like, sauce. But, but mango style. How about all them clothes we gotta pack? and the fishing poles and the dive gear and the boats and the coolers. I have good news for you. Hmm. Everything's packed, but the fishing poles. Well, that's probably the most important thing. Yeah, but I wanted you to do that. 
You guys, that mango right there out of my mom's yard is by far the best fruit I've ever ate in my life. All right, that's it for this video. I'm going to take another big bite. So good. We will see y'all down in the Keys where I'm going to do my best to make some videos that all of you guys can do if you have a boat. And if you don't have a boat, I'm going to go on some bridges and do videos there too. So be on a lookout for any video I do in the Keys because the way I'm going to make it, I'm going to teach you how you can easily do the same thing. Catch your own food, bring it home and cook it. But right now, like my 11 year old son Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.